What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we're answering the question of what is an assignment statement in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. An assignment statement in Python is essentially where you're giving value to such, something such as a variable. Um, because like in Python or any, like basically in any programming language, um, oftentimes they'll read like in Python does what it does is when it gets a script like this, it'll read from top down and everything that's on a line that has something or is doing something, that is what is essentially a statement. So I have a statement here, I have a statement here. Now some statements, I, and I, I say that they're statements because um, of the fact that like they all have some sort of meaning to do something. Now there are some things that Python will not, you know, evaluate like a comment. It's not going to do anything with that and show that. Um, and then some things have special meaning. Like we know that this is intended for the starting point of a, or is intended to be a start, starting point of a script. So that way, like if there's a bunch of stuff that's above it, you know, you can do all that stuff there and then you can use this as your main control. That's why I always put these in these videos. Um, but an assignment is giving value um, to a variable. Now, what the heck does that mean? Well, Say you have the value of five and like you could do through a script or you can do through um, like in the actual Python uh, interpreter. You can, you know, say five plus, you know, six and I could run this, um, say Python, what is an assignment statement? And nothing prints out, right? I ran a statement, but without actually displaying anything to the user, it's meaningless, right? Or well, it's not necessarily meaningless. I don't want to say that because of the fact like it's actually doing something in your program and not all programs need to have output, um, but it is helpful when they do sometimes. So if I run this and I print this out, it says, hey, yeah, five plus six is 11. Well, what happens if I want to store that variable? Like, where do I need, what do I need to do? Well, that's where assignment statements come in. And assignment statement is something simply as saying like X is equal to five plus six. Um, and if I run this, then I can say print out X and I get the exact same thing. Now, the key with assignment statements is, is that everything on the right-hand side of the, um, the, equals, um, the equals sign is evaluated first. So basically, we'll do whatever we do over here. You can have a super long, complicated thing. You can be calling different functions or doing different things on this side, but all that stuff will get evaluated first before then it puts it into this value of X. So whatever comes out of that is gonna get stored in this value of X. And now, throughout the rest of my script, I can keep on programming, keep on adding stuff, stuff and until I change it, until I reassign something to the value of X, it'll always print out as, um, it'll always be that value that it was. So in our case, it'll be 11. So that's essentially what a assignment statement is in Python. I know I added a uh, extra little other terminologies in there. I could have just said, this is an assignment statement, but I want to give you the context behind why it is what it is and what it does. Again, everything on the right-hand side gets evaluated first and then put into this, just kind of like in algebra um, and stuff like that. However, you can assign stuff for not just things like numbers and stuff like that. You can do strings, you can do lists, you can do all other types of data types and functions and all that stuff um, in Python. So that's essentially what an assignment statement is. If you, have any if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.